Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2010 is sponsored by Smile on My Mac, the makers of great productivity software like PDF Pen, Text Expander, and Disk Label. Visit them at smileonmymac.com. Welcome to Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2010. We are in the live scribe booth talking to Eric and Maureen about the Pulse Pen. Guys, welcome to Mac Voices TV. It looks like it's been a busy show already. We had to fight to get in to talk to you. <laughs> it's been a very busy show. We're excited to be back here at Macworld. It's great to have you. Yeah, thanks for thanks for stopping by. So last year you won a best of show with this product, but that doesn't mean that you just sat there and did nothing with it. What's new with the Pulse Pen? Well, let me tell you the basics of the pen, because a lot of people still don't know about us. Um, this is the Pulse Smart Pen, and basically this is a computer. Uh, this captures everything you write, but it also captures everything you hear and syncs what you hear to what you write. So what that means is if you're in meetings or lectures or whatever, you have access to not only everything you write, but everything you heard in those meetings and lectures. You never miss a word. Um, why we're here at Macworld is um, this pen not only can capture all of those notes and audio in the smart pen itself, we can also transfer it to your, to your, to your Mac uh, as well. Um, and so we have a, lot, a desktop application for the Mac where you can upload all of your notes and audio. You can search for words within your notes, say you know you wrote something important down and you had to find it. And you can share your notes from there as well. What's new for us this year is we're actually previewing our, um, our iPhone application, which Maureen can tell you all about, um, be out in a few months. And we wanted to give the, the Macworld audience kind of a preview to look at it and give us their feedback. Very cool. Now, I, I got to ask from a personal standpoint. I'm known for my bad handwriting. How how good is your OCR? How how much care do I have to take about making my notes? Well, you know, really, it just captures anything you write. Doesn't matter if you draw pictures, if you write words, if you write in chicken scratch. It's capturing everything you write. So um, once you bring that to your computer, you'll see a visual image of your notes. Now from there, if you want to transfer that into typed text, we actually have a third-party application that allows you to do that. And it basically, it works about as well. If, if you can read your handwriting or if someone else can read your handwriting, it can probably read your handwriting fairly well. Uh, the pen itself does use OCR for other applications. We have an application store that's, that's available. Um, and we have over 30 apps already available in that store at livescribe.com. Okay, that's kind of intriguing, and I, and I haven't forgotten you, Maureen. We'll get to the iPhone in a second. But 30 apps for, for this device, that's like, right. what more can an, a, a, a pen yeah. do? So what can a smart pen do? You'd be amazed what a smart pen can do. It can do everything from productivity-related applications to reference tools. For example, I can write a word in English and have it translated into Spanish. The pen will say it and show the, the word on this little OLED screen. So everything from productivity to translation to games. Uh, we have some developers who've created uh, poker apps, blackjack, all kinds of fun apps, hangman, helicopter. So it's really pretty broad. It, it's a, it's a Java-based uh, development environment. And uh, we consider, continue to see more and more apps built for the smart pen every day. That, that's intriguing. That's intriguing. Maureen, how about the iPhone app? What is that going to bring to the party? Well, it's, it's a, an extension of what you can already do through the LiveScribe community. Uh, we give everyone who registers with us uh, an account called a My LiveScribe account, and it posts your files privately to the LiveScribe community, which you can give others access to if you choose to. And from there, you can download it to your iPhone. So it goes up to our community, pulls down the files, and la locally caches them on your phone this lovely application, which then you can use um, to play back your notes and audio through, we call them pen casts. That's notes and audio combined. So let's say, for example, um, should I just get, go ahead and show it here? Sure. Okay, great. Um, so I'm going to show um, this pen cast of George Washington. And so you can see, I can use the gesture zooming to zoom into the file. And I'm going to go ahead and play it. So what it's doing is it's actually animating and drawing at the same time that I was. And you can, I don't know if you can hear the audio here. 
there's some audio that goes with it. So it's the audio that was recorded at the time that the drawing was going on and it's synchronized together. So whether or not you're connected to your computer, you can bring your pen casts with you and play them on your iPhone. Some other cool things you can do is you can also share these files with others. So since it's posted to our community, for the people that you've given access to the file, you can email them a link to it. So it makes it really convenient to access your pen casts from your phone without having to have your computer with you or to listen to your pen casts if you're in a place where you don't have access to a computer or to the internet like an airplane or um, if you're in a library at school, something like that. It's intriguing. This trend seems to be developing very quickly that anything that we do from a productivity standpoint on our desktops, suddenly what we want to take with us now on our iPhones. And in a couple months, probably our iPads too. So, and I assume that you all are thinking about that as well. We, we are, we're, we're working on that and we're working on time frame for that as well. But, but I think you're right, it's, it's all about portability and it's all about interoperability. And you know, I want my notes from pen and paper not only to be available on my Mac, but I want it with me everywhere I go. I want it on my iPhone as well. And I want to be able to share it, send it whenever I want. And this really enables that. And, and especially, I want it without having to think about it too much. I just, okay, I want to see my notes from you know last month's board meeting. They're on my iPhone automatically because I use to Pulse Pen. That's right, you got it. Okay, so how much data can one of these pens hold? I, I, and I don't even know how to measure that. If, yeah. if we're talking hours of audio or, uh, miles of transcription or what? Yeah, so this is a four gig smart pen. So this holds over 400 hours of audio or probably close to 60,000 pages of notes, depending on how many notes, how many, how many hours of audio you record. You can also offload those notes and audio to your computer and archive them there. So you can really man manage the files on your smart pen. Right now we have a two gig and a four gig smart pen available. Uh, the four gig is $199 and the uh, two gig is $149. That's great. And, and if it's not unfair to ask, uh, timetable for the iPhone app, roughly? Not unfair at all. No, we're targeting um, the end of March at this point to, for availability on the Apple application store. And uh, it'll be $1.99. Wow. Can you think we can afford that after buying the pen? Well, we're trying to keep the cost reasonable for our users. No, I, obviously, I'm joking. That's, that's great because it provides quite a nice full solution for a very affordable price if you have the need for something like this. And, after seeing it, you start to wonder how you wouldn't have the need for it. So, And the website is? Uh, Livescribe.com. Perfect. Eric, Maureen, thank you so much for taking the time. It's a pleasure to see you and see you at Macworld again. Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Chuck. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices TV on a very crowded show floor at Macworld 2010. We'll be back with more soon if we can fight our way out of the booth. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2010 is sponsored by Smile on My Mac, the makers of great productivity software like PDF Pen, Text Expander, and Disk Label. Visit them at smileonmymac.com. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.